Hi everybody, hi Flosstube. Um, after my last video, I've been getting a couple of requests to do a video about the programs that I use to stitch with. And I want to show you two of my favorite programs. Actually, I don't know if any more exist, like good ones, but as for apps, these are amazing and let's start from the beginning i started stitching heaven and earth designs and everybody who stitches knows about these types of patterns they are very difficult they have a lot of singles they have a lot of colors and the charts are not that easy so um i started cross stitching and it wasn't that easy because I started with Heaven and Earth designs. I did not stitch any small kits. So I stitched and then I got tired of it. So I left that and then I went back to it. And then I started stitching seriously a couple of years ago. And <clears throat> in some point, I've discovered that there was a program called Pattern Maker. I'm sure that everybody knows about Pattern Maker. It's amazing. It's a program you can use in everything relating cross stitch. I mean, you can go from stage one from creating your own pattern to changing colors, changing types of threads, uh, back stitch, creating um, designs. Well, I said creating your own patterns. Um, you can build a pattern from the beginning until the end until you start stitching it you can hi highlight symbols if you stitch by color you can cross stitches like you know like um some of you use the um, adobe reader if i'm not wrong uh, but this is much more comfortable so I began using Pattern Maker and I used it for quite a while. Um, the only thing is you cannot um, install Pattern Maker on your phone or your um, tablet. So it was a problem to me because I was sitting by a computer and stitching and sometimes you just want to watch a movie or you know do something or watch TV and you cannot sit by a laptop or a computer so it wasn't that comfortable it was comfortable um, when you think about the you know that it is easier to stitch large patterns with digital patterns but it wasn't that comfortable because you cannot move from a computer screen. So I was hoping to find some uh, program or app that you can install on your phone or your tablet or your iPad. And <clears throat> I could not find that. And to tell you the truth, back then there was no app like that. So I was, I guess I was just dreaming of it. Um, and in some point, um, one app came out and I saw it first on one Russian channel <clears throat> that I watch, uh, a Russian girl that stitches a lot. <laughs> and <clears throat> she was the first one, I'm sorry, my voice is going. But she was the first one I watched that showed that um, particular app it was crusty you can see it on the screen on the right <clears throat> and it was really really interesting to me so I downloaded it it is not a free app you do pay for it I'm not going to tell you um, how much it costs because I don't know how much it costs for you uh, for me, I think Krosti was 19 shekels, um, <clears throat> but I'm not sure how much you will pay for it. You can just watch and, uh, you know, check it in the App Store or the Play, um, Google Play or something. And it is worth the money. It is. So I decided to invest and I bought myself the Krosti program. Now, 
quite a while after Krosti came out, they came up with Cross-Stitch Saga, which is basically the same thing, but it has a couple more functions that you do not have in Krosti. And <clears throat> to be honest, it doesn't really matter because most of those functions I do not use. I only use the highlights and a couple of more stuff. But um, basically, if you have Krosti, you really don't need Krosti Saga and vice versa. So I'm going to show you Krosti first and then I'm going to show you the Krosti Saga. So this is the Krosti program. Let's go into that. First of all, um, using these apps, you do need Dropbox because without Dropbox, it opened right <laughs> into my pattern. If you don't have Dropbox, see over here, you will not be able to upload a pattern over into this program. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I think that Crossed Saga has the functions when you can upload it into your device and then you upload it into the program. It's supposed to like open automatically. But to be honest, I haven't tried that and I'm not sure because, well, I hate reading instructions, really. And to learn how to use it, I just watched a video. So. Um, everything I know how to use I can show you and if you will want to learn about it more you can just download the app and watch it yourself basically what you do is well I have a few patterns that I already stitched this is my beloved my heaven and earth design uh, before I downloaded the saga one but to download in Krosti basically you do not have a lot you know functions in this program you have like the question mark which opens the help <clears throat> content um, category close close you have this which is you can just rate the app and uh, leave feedback which is basically you know you don't really need that um, and you just download the patterns you just go to your draw box <clears throat> what's wrong with my voice oh my god you go to your draw box it opens automatically um, basically you know you will have to uh, put your um, <laughs> what did I want to say you will just have to put your um, <clears throat> password and your username and then you can just use it um, basically what you do is uh, open a folder in your um, Dropbox and you can just go into that folder if my tablet will work a little faster you choose a pattern Choose a pattern, I don't know which one, like choose, it doesn't really matter because I finished all of them, but let's say I choose number four, beloved, it's one of my fragments that I stitched. It will open, the thing about uh, Krosti that I noticed, it's kind of heavy and it takes a while for it to, for it to work. Uh, using Saga, you don't have that problem. At least I don't have that problem. It works really fast and I don't need to sit and wait until it opens. So I think the Krosti is a little older and or maybe it's just a little heavier program and it takes a while to open files. But there you go. Um, he gave me the one I chose. Now I can download it. I put download button, button, <laughs> button. Now I can, this is in Hebrew, but doesn't matter. It will say in English, I guess, that you can download. I download it. And he tells you that you can open it. And it just opens. You see, right now he gave me two options because I have both programs. Uh, but I will use the Krosti one because I don't want to download it into my saga. So there it is. I opened it. Um, so this is the 
piece of pattern that I use. What I do is use, um, I have the whole pattern on my uh, computer on my pattern maker and I just cut it into little pieces it's just comfortable for me you can upload the whole pattern but I do stitch by fragments so I just cut uh, fragments that are five over four uh, you know like squares and this is the area that I stitch when I finish this one I go to the next and that's how my uh, pattern grows my cross stitch grows just by you know like pa puzzles so let's see um, what we have these are the symbols the same symbols you have in your charts the same symbols you will have in your uh, pattern maker it's the same thing they open the cross stitch program and the cross stitch saga they open the xsd files that are used in pattern maker so it's really really comfortable you can make it bigger if you do not see you know you can make it smaller doesn't matter it's your choice um, what you can do here you have the hand the hand that moves the pattern oh sorry it moves it now you have the highlight which you, oh well this is a crop but I don't need to crop anything well I already showed you that um, you have the marker over here that you use to uh, choose how you want to highlight I usually use this one um, I did not choose well, you use the picker to like pick one color. It says, um, I just came, I went back. Uh, when you choose a color, this is black, this is 310 in uh, DMC colors. You can see the, high, the um, uh, symbol. And when you put push this, you see it highlights the color. I cross stitch. Um, by color so it's really really comfortable for me you do not have to go back to you know after forgetting to you know stitch like single ones and somewhere on your pattern so it's really comfortable and then you can color over it so I can just move this I can move this I can why isn't it moving anyways never mind my fingers I guess they're not working today um, you have a couple of uh, ways to highlight uh, you have this one which you, you why why aren't my fingers working gosh okay I'm back <laughs> I just I don't know I guess my fingers was were too hot or something because they weren't working on the screen but anyways where was I um, you have this option of the highlight you have three uh, options over here you have this one which colors over the um, symbols you can also choose the color but we will see that soon but this option doesn't let you you know you can color over but you cannot erase it back this one is the one I always use, the middle one. You can color and you can erase. So you can do both in one direction or in the other. Can you see? You can erase it. Now the third one, you cannot color over anything. You can just erase. So it's basically the eraser. Um, it's really, really easy to do. You can just, you know, you can use your fingers to do anything. Uh, this is a picker I showed you that you can choose another color you can add that you can close them and not highlight any of them now when you go back to the hand and you want to cancel the highlight at all you don't want to add any more colors or you just don't want any colors highlighted you go press the hand you have the eye which see means that you will watch whatever you 
picked and you just press it and you go back to the pattern if you had something colored it will stay and it will not be erased it will be in the memory now um, you have this option over here I I don't really know why you need that but this is actually the color of the fabric you can just use the background choose the background you know kind of useless so I don't really know why it's over here I guess it's just if you like uh, use let's say blue Aida and you want to make the color darker just you know for your own like eyes so you can see um, basically the color of your uh, fabric but you don't have to use it it's really useless I think uh, now you have the legend here you can see all the colors that you will use in your pattern uh, you can choose one over here now if my fingers will work again you can choose one you can on choose one um, I actually colored my there you go I went back to the original color uh, you have DMC you have Encore Madeira Kirva and Gamma you can use whatever option of thread you want it's your choice I don't know which which one you use but it has every option you can, um, if you have backstitch on your digital pattern, it will appear here. I stitched the um, cross, the cross stitch, the heaven and earth design. So basically, there are no um, backstitch over. And now you have the beads, but we also do not have beads. If you will have the symbols for these backstitch or beads on your pattern it will appear but right now we just don't have that option uh, we have the options which will um, I don't think you will use most of it um, it just you see it's petite backstitch it will highlight whatever you want I use full full crosses so I don't really need anything else you can choose the color of your marker I use the blue one you can use the red one it doesn't matter it's just um, your choice uh, there are a couple more choices to be honest I really don't remember what they do but uh, basically I think this one eliminates the um, uh, symbols behind this one eliminates the colors and this is just the marker that you can choose um, you can get rid of the rulers I don't I do I film or do I just hold my camera you can get rid of the rulers get them back you can get rid of the grid which I don't know why you would do that but okay let's get it back um, you can clean the color underlay I like to see the colors you can um, give the symbols color but you see oh can you see it became red but I don't use that either uh, I don't know some of these options are just for your own enjoyment I mean you can just play with it and see what you like it's really easy it's not a difficult program here <clears throat> here <laughs> you have the project follow and you can just watch how you progress and how much you stitched this is on 14 count doesn't matter you can use 28 count it does really really doesn't matter just for your own knowledge but it's just how your pattern is uh, built uh, it doesn't really matter which fabric you use to stitch on really what's the point of that uh, you can see the progress what's good in Krosti that I do like it doesn't only give you the time and the percentage that you already stitched it also gives you I mean the date it also gives you the time so I can see how long I stitched that particular part thank you <laughs> that particular day and if I stitch like today and tomorrow every day will show me how long I stitched that 
day. So I really like that option, but um, I do not have it in Cross Stitch Saga. It does not do anything. I, you know, I don't feel that I really need that. But it was interesting to see how long for like how long did I stitch that day. It really it was interesting to see. So basically, this is a really simple program. I don't think you'll have problems using it. You can just purchase it and start using it. I will tell you about the patterns in a moment after I show you the uh, other program. So we will close this one. And this is the Cross Stitch Saga. Uh, today, I prefer this one because it's stronger. It's, you know, it can carry a whole chart and not get stuck. So I use this one. Like I said, the only op option you do not have here is the time counting. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be there. Um, I cannot teach you everything about this because I'm kind of new in this too. I can just show you what I do know. Um, you do have the tools, you have tools and info, well, if you want to learn how to use it. You can also go to YouTube because you have video tutorials, which is really comfortable for those who like to learn. Uh, you can learn about the developers and go, gi go give feedback on the program if you'd like. And you do have to have Dropbox. It's the same process. You go to your Dropbox. I will not do that right now because I already showed you. You just upload the chart. It doesn't even ask you as much questions as the Krusty program did. So all you will need to do is, you know, just pick your uh, chart and go on working on it. Like you can see, I do have my fragments here. Everything that is in stars, I already finished right now. I'm working on this one. But I will show you on a pattern that I don't use. This pattern, this little kitten, you get with the program. It's like a gift. So if you like to stitch that, be my guest. It's really cute. Uh, before I open it, I'll show you the um, things you can do in here so you have the name of the chart you have the size 51 over 81 you can see the information about it you can even see the author oh um okay you can back up the pattern which is amazing cross stitch saga gives you the ability to open the same pattern in different devices in the same spot you stop stitching so you just back up the point where you stop stitching and if you just go away or you get you know your battery is low and it dies <laughs> you can just open the program in some other device and keep stitching from the same point the only thing you will need to back up the pattern so you have the backup you have safe pattern mark markup you can save your pattern. You can load pattern markup, which means that uh, when you open your pattern on um, another device, you can just load the uh, the same pattern. Like I said, you just open it from the same point you backed up and saved it. Uh, you can rename the pattern. You can give it a name and you can just put a star on it, on it just to say that you started it or I use it as a finish you know point um, then you can just delete it but I'm not going to because I don't I don't mind it being there so now I can open this pattern I play I, <laughs> I place I press open and I'm in the program now you have a lot more options in here I don't know if you like to hear about all of them what you can see over here is you will see how many strands you see you can stitch it with two strands you will see the number of the color you will see you can see the symbols and the colors with the name of the color okay 
you can also highlight them it's all stitched with two strands and you do have colors I do not know this pattern so you know I don't know with what uh, thread you stitch it but you can see that you have two strands in one strand and you can just use that and you can highlight your um, symbols I actually highlighted them already but never mind if you uh, go over here on the top basically to highlight you just press this this is the symbol that I just highlighted but um, if it's off you can see the whole chart uh, when you press this little face that what gives you the highlight can you see that just highlighted a couple of symbols if I had one of the symbols chosen then I would have um, just had <laughs> I could have just you know highlighted the symbol that I had to choose um, I can press a long one on the little face and then I can choose the color that I want to use to uh, highlight but I use the pink one I don't know why I just like that um, okay cancel now I have the little lamp on the top which raises the color behind the, the symbols you can just see a black and white chart and you have the eye which um, <laughs> to be honest I don't really know why you need that but it makes the symbols into little crosses like that I don't know if you can see that it looks like a 3D little cross um, I don't know I guess it's just for those who like it you have this little circle which you can move uh, if you press it once it will turn and then it becomes an, an eraser if you press it again you can highlight with it so it's a highlighter if you press it twice it just locks and then you cannot do anything that's comfortable because if you don't want to color but you want to use your pattern and you know move it you will not color over the symbols now another thing um, in crusty and crusty you can use one finger to move in this program you have to use two fingers otherwise it will not move um, Let's move this aside move this aside so it won't bother us um, now these options I really rarely use I only use this one which gives you the information about your embroidery status uh, I stitched this one well I didn't stitch it but, but I did press the numbers so you know it shows me like I've been stitching I already stitched 0.33 percent of this uh, chart it's a lie I did not but anyways uh, this is the date and the amount of stitches that I stitched and you have like a half cross well I guess I colored over one half cross and full stitches 16 stitches you see you do not have the time you stitched that's too bad but never mind that's not that important uh, you have the calculator um, basically it's just it shows you the information about your chart like the colors the you can choose the fabric I don't know it's just material information um, if you need this then be my guest to use it um, you have this which has um, colors I don't really know what it does I haven't used it ever so I do know that this little a it removes the symbols removes the symbols then you have only colored chart uh, I do use the symbols you use this one to remove the little pencil not the little pencil the little uh, picture that you see on the side can you see that the preview you can remove it you can actually move yourself on the chart using this but I don't really need that and I just remove it um, if you use um, 
Uh, parking, you do have options for parking. Can you see that? I do know that a lot of you use parking, so this will be perfect for you. Uh, you can just color over the, you see? Maybe I will erase the symbols and then you will see better. Uh, you have this. Um, okay, cancel. I just pressed it too hard. Um, you have this. How do I stop it? Okay. You have this for a different kind of... I don't know if it's parking or how do you call that? Anyways, I do not um, do that. I don't use it. You have this, which gives you the middle of the chart. It shows you where, where your middle is. You have this, which removes the grid, the darker grid between the 10 by 10 squares. Can you see that? And you have these two, but these, um, this is actually, you can use, maybe I can remove the colors and then you will see it better. Um, you can put little crosses, you can make the divider to be like 5 over 5. You can make little crosses in the middle, you see, just to know where the middle of every 10 by 10 square you can remove that at all and you can remove the grid so you can see only the symbols um i don't know i never use that if you will need that to you know to use that in your chart you can just play with them and understand what they do um i hope that i explain it good enough because you know my English is not perfect and it's kind of hard to me to for me to explain especially that I am actually kind of new to this program too so um, I'm still not sure for everything that's going on in here but everything that I need and everything that I think you will use is pretty easy to understand you can put it you know hide it and you can show it by the plus and the minus like that and you have another little plus that you can use to color your cross stitches you know you just colored over over the whole chart and you can lock everything in place like if I press the lock I will not be able to do anything so I don't need to lock it um, basically, the program is really easy to use. Once you get started, it's no problem. You can just, you know, roll with it. You do have the option of seeing and finding out what um, what to do if you watch YouTube tutorials. And you do have the, you know, info tools that you can go in and read about it. Or you can have, you know, go into the video tutorials. That will take you into, hopefully it will help open, but it will take you into um, YouTube. So you will be able to learn how to use everything in YouTube. I don't know, I guess it's in Russian, but I get, I think that you can, fine English um, explanations over here too. Um, so this is everything, most of what I can tell you about Cross Stitch Saga and uh, Cross T, uh, where you can find patterns. Well, basically my first patterns that I used and well, most of my patterns that I used digitally, I made myself. I did not create them. I used pattern patterns from um, Heaven and Earth Designs, which I had in on PDF files, and I was just um, coloring over it and rebuilding it into a digital uh, chart. It's not 
a short process it takes a long time you need to be really focused not to make mistakes but then you create your own digital pattern it takes a while but it works or today you can find almost every pattern that somebody already created so if you just go to Google and look for like XSD files uh, or have an inner design in XSD or digital or write something like that you will definitely find patterns you can use and not only have it in our designs I found uh, websites that have uh, Rioli's patterns on di digital you can find almost everything you want on digital today because people do use that and they recreate patterns the only thing before you use try to look open it and look for the you know mistakes so you won't be stitching a pattern which will end up being really bad so that's all I can say you can just download patterns from the internet you can create your own patterns on pattern maker or you can recreate patterns by uh, uploading PDFs into pattern maker and just rebuilding them into dig digital formats um, anyways hopefully you understood what I was talking about and I wasn't you know really bubbling <laughs> Um, but uh, if you have questions feel free to ask I would love to answer if I can um, hopefully you like this video hopefully it will help you and hopefully you will try using digital patterns because once I tried it I you know I haven't been using um, printed patterns oh, well only in my uh, Riolis kits but that's um, that's easy um, when you do stitch large patterns, it's really, really making your process really fun and really easy. So try it. Um, that, that's, the, that's the end. I don't have anything else to say. So hopefully you liked it. Give me thumbs up. Um, write comments. Ask questions. I love to hear from you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.